Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies storyline. Today we are going to be covering Ascension, which is one of my favorite Call of Duty Black Ops maps. I love this map and I also love this glitch that you guys are watching me uh, sit in throughout this entire video. So anyway, we are going to go ahead and talk about why Ascension is important in the Call of Duty storyline. Now, I told you guys that during the Call of Duty Black Ops storyline, it was going to start getting a lot harder than it was during the Call of Duty World at War storyline. Now, yes, it is all connected, but I mean where we start in the game. So Kino was fairly straightforward. There wasn't a whole lot there, and so was Five. But this map is where it is going to start getting really intense. This map, I am really excited to start talking about. And also Shangri-La and Moon, I am really excited to start talking about. But we won't get into those for two and three more episodes because we still have to cover Call of the Dead first. So, anyway, what we are going to be talking about today is why Ascension is so important and imperative to the zombie storyline. So let's talk about it. There is an easter egg on this map, in fact this is the first main easter egg map that we have where you can complete a full easter egg and get a reward for it that has multiple steps and has some meaning to it. Now what you are doing in this easter egg is you are saving Groff from Samantha. Samantha is terrorizing him and she's trying to kill him but we need to save Groff in this map. Now I'm going to explain why. Now Richtofen in this map knows that he needs to save Groff. In fact, without Richtofen coming back to Ascension, yes, I did say coming back, and I will get to that in a second, Richtofen came back to Ascension for the sole purpose of saving Groff. Now, you're probably wondering why, where was he that he needed to come to this place? Well, we're going to talk about that in the way future, but for now, all you need to know is that Richtofen has come from the future to the past to save Groff in the hopes of keeping him for something that he is going to need in the future beyond the future that he is from. Now, I know that sounds really confusing, but it's, it, it's trust me, I, I it will get explained eventually once we get into those maps, but for now, just know that Richtofen is back with the sole purpose of saving Groff because Groff has viable information that is needed in the future and Richtofen is going to use him. Without Groff in the future, what will happen is there will be a chain of events that will be set where he will not be able to do what he is trying to do with his grand scheme. Now, I'm going to say that the Richtofen that we have known through World at War and that we will know for Call of the Dead and Shangri-La and Moon and all the way through until Origins. Now that's a way long time in the future, but all the way until that point, we have a very evil and bad Richtofen. Once we get to Origins, we're going to see a change in character, and we'll talk about that once we get there. But for now, just know, Richtofen has come back. The Richtofen that you play in as this map is the good Richtofen. He has come back to Ascension for a good purpose. He is here to farther his plans in his grand scheme. The bad Richtofen is not here. We don't know where he is, but he's not here. Now, what does Groff know and why is it so important that we save him? Well, Groff works with Dr. Richtofen. He works with him at his moon base. Yes, I did say his moon base. Back in Doris, if you recall, um, Dr. Richtofen accidentally teleports himself to the moon and he starts to build Griffin Station up there. We're going to talk about that in a couple of episodes. So, Dr. Richtofen is building Griffin Station on the moon. He has a new group of scientists that he is using to combat 935, but he is also still working with 935 to use some of their information as his own and try and further it and do his own evil deeds. So, he has Dr. Groff by his side, which is like his right-hand man, and Dr. Groff knows just about everything that Dr. Richtofen does. Now, he is also the one who has made the Groff modules, which is something that we are going to get into in the way future. Groff modules are not even relevant until the end of the story. And he has also made the Gersh devices. Well, he hasn't made them, but he's helped to make them with Gersh, which is one of our mystery characters. Now, 
Gersh is the person who made the Gersh device, as I just said. What it is, is it's this little device that you throw, and it sucks zombies into it. It is a teleporter that can be thrown. We don't know where they go, but they disappear. So, that's pretty much it. So, we need to save Groth. So, just a recap. Dr. Richtofen comes back from the future. He is now in the past to save Groth and put him farther in the future for his plans. Now, just another recap. We are saving him from Samantha. And I'll go ahead and give you guys a spoiler. We are saving Groff to kill Groff for Sophia. Now, I know you guys don't know who Sophia is yet, but we will get into that in the future. We will probably get into it by Moon. I will probably talk about who Sophia is, but she's not really relevant until the end of the story either. So anyway, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.